We've been here at Norfolk Marine shooting our how-to videos for several days now. And, you know, Jason, thank you so much for having Thanks us. Thanks for coming. But i got to tell you, one of the most interesting things I saw as a boater is your counter of shame here. Can you tell us what's going on? Yeah, we just pulled some stuff out from the service department we thought would be entertaining for you guys to see what not to do. Uh, things uh, on a wide array of uh, outboard powered stuff for, for the most part. Uh, some fuel filters that have... Uh, you know, not past the test of time here. Some folks that have uh, had uh, running issues for some reason. Um, these should be changed at least every 100 hours, some say 50 hours. Um, some uh, e exhaust tuners here that have rot out from uh, not using your motor flushers and things of that nature. Um, rectifier regulators, some, uh, some trim tilled assemblies that have just rusted out. I mean, proper boat maintenance is essential to uh, optimal performance, so. And, and what is this? That's well, just a fried impeller. Wow. Uh, it's supposed to have some curvature on it, and it just basically looks like the core of a fan blade there. That's, That's your water pump. Pretty bad it. shape, huh? Yeah, yeah. Now, I got to ask you about this prop. What happened here? Uh, this is actually, uh, this was run on a skiff on Granby Street in downtown Nor Norfolk uh, during a nor'easter about five years ago. Uh, there was about two feet of water on top of the uh, tidal surge and they were using this for uh, rescue. So mm -hmm. when they brought it in, uh, it, was, it was quite a scene and we, uh, we saved the lower unit for a while and we've held on to the prop and it's, it's quite a story. That's really neat. Can that be yeah. reconditioned? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we're gonna send it up to the prop shop and see if they can work it out. Excellent. So. Thanks. Absolutely. Thank you.